Remarkable to me that always just kind of floors me when I think about this. The government did not provide the ballots. You had to bring your own ballot. People got their ballots mainly from newspapers. <laughs> so you'd get the newspaper that day and you would cut out a ballot from the newspaper and it, or it would be an insert into the newspaper. And it would usually be a, a single ballot for a party slate. Already filled out. Basically. Already filled out, just the names of everybody running for the party. And by the 1850s, the ballots were brightly colored. So there'd be, you know, a blue, bright blue, long strip of a ballot for Republicans and a bright red one for Democrats. Or they'd be, you know, pink and green. And so you'd be kind of challenged to get to the polling place without revealing how you were going to vote. Because you'd have this giant piece of, you know, green paper with you. And so there were all these people at the polling places trying to kind of intimidate you. Then there are these guys, they're called shoulder strikers. And they're just basically like elbowing you, trying to prevent you from getting to the polling place. You could be a vest pocket voter, which I was like, well, should we try to get to the polling place without anybody seeing how you're going to vote? You try to like roll up the ballot and stick it in your vest pocket. Then there was the pasters. So, because you, you have this giant ballot with everybody you're going to vote for, you can't actually vote for individuals. So they would have at the polling place these vats of paste because these guys would be selling, like if you wanted to be like a write-in candidate, yeah, yeah. you'd sell like a little strip of paper with your name on it to God. You would pay people to paste this over the name of somebody else. Then there was the knifers where you could submit your ballot but not vote for somebody, not replace them with someone that you pasted over, but you could knife them out. So there's this massive, massive amount of money and corruption, and it has to do with the vast expansion of the franchise. Mm -hmm. 